Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's Mr. Do the Math here, and today we're going to talk about fractions raised to a power. All right, fractions raised to a power. Um, it's a lot like the skill that we learned yesterday, except there is a first step to it. Um, remember, we have order of operations, right? When a fraction is raised to a power, the um, what happened is we have to deal with the exponent before we go into the division part. All right, fractions like so. So we had x to the fifth yesterday over x to the second. Um, what we did was division, right? And in division, we end up with x to the five minus two. All right, whenever we divide variables raised to a power, we subtract the exponents, all right? Today, we're gonna look at something like this. We got, if we use this number, five over four raised to the second power. Whenever you have a fraction raised to the power, that means that both numbers, the numerator and the denominator, get that exponent. So what happens is you have five to the second power and four to the second power. So anytime you have a fraction raised to a power, you raise everything to that power, okay? So in this case, you end up with 25 over what? Eight. Eight? 16. 16, right. And so that's what happens, right? And so that's the skill, all right? Whenever you have a power raised to a power, you have to multiply that variable. So um, you have to multiply that exponent into everything. So um, they have the textbook rule. The textbook rule is like this. So if you have x to the y raised to the m power, that equals x to the m power over y to the m power. That's what this was. Everybody got that? We good with that so far? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's look at some actual problems, all right? So here we go. Let's look at number one. Number one says a over b to the second power, all raised to the third power. Okay? You can't do anything inside of parentheses, right? Order of operations. Can't do anything inside of parentheses, right? They're not like terms, right? But what you can do is raise everything to the exponents. Everything to the third power. So you have a to the third, and then you gotta have b to the second to the third. Remember the skill from before. Whenever you have a power raise a power raised to a power, you multiply the exponents, right? So your solution ends up being a to the third over b to the sixth Six power. Okay. Let's look at number two. Number two, you have two x to the third. Two x to the third over five all raised to the sixth power, okay? Does everybody see that? <laughs> Again, now this can be simplified or anything, so we're just gonna raise the power to a power. So, uh, well, we're gonna raise everything to the sixth power. So everybody gets the sixth power. Everybody gets the sixth power. So you got two to the sixth power, then you got x to the three to the sixth power, all over five to the sixth power, okay? Ooh. Yeah. 2 and 5 to the 6th power is, is a pretty big number, so we're going to leave it as an exponent. Or we're going to leave it in the exponent form. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to simplify this x. So we end up with uh, 2 to the 6th power and x to the 3 times 6, which is 18. 18. 18. 18. All right. So you got, you got uh, 2 to the 6th power times x to the 18th power over 5 to the 6th power. Okay? Yeah. Why you in the club? We do like multiply the. Because they're big numbers. All right, let's do it. We can do it. Let's do it. All right? 2 to the 6th power. That's 2 times 2. I don't know that one. 4. 4, four times 2. Times 2. 8. eight. eight. Times 2. Six. 64. Times, times 5. Tell me times Wait, 2. Time 5. 32 times 2. 32 times 2 is 64. Oh, I'm 64. I thought it was 8 So this was 64. Eight, so you got 64 x to the 18th power. Now, 5 to the 6th power, we need a calculator. We need to calculate 64. that. It's like 25 times 25 times 25. What do you get? Yeah, I don't got it. Hold on. You said 25 times what? 18. Dang, that's what I was going to get. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's it. Make sure you got this written down. Hey, let's uh, not do all that. Alright, make sure you got this written down. Alright? 
So that's that's pretty much it. So whenever you have a power raised, you have a fraction raised to a power, everybody, every part of the fraction gets the exponent. All right? Yeah. We good with that? Now looking at looking at your notes, is there any one of these that we need to do um, on this um, right now? Hey, what's the notes? What about like number five and number six? Y'all good with number five and number six? Number three. You want to do number three? All right, let's do number three. Yeah, turn around and do number six, too. Yeah. All right, let's do number three. Uh, well, yeah, let's do number three, because this, this is pretty much the scale. So yeah, x to the fourth, y to the seventh, over six to the, I mean, x to the sixth, all right? All raised to the third power, okay? What about raises? First thing you can do is simplify what's in parentheses. You got x's here, right? So like yesterday, we had x to the fourth and x to the sixth. Which number is the biggest? Which one has the biggest exponent? Six to the six. The denominator, yeah. right? So if we simplify this, we'll put, what's the four minus six is what? So we're going to keep y at the top, and we're going to keep x. We're going to keep that at the bottom. Does everybody see where we got x to the second part from? Yeah. No. No? That's, that's yeah, that's it. Bro, it's literally X. Hey man, hey man, I wasn't no, here, so I'm confused. Oh, this is why it's seven? All right, man. All right. So, that's the seven. But anyways, so what happens is, because the exponent in the denominator is larger than the exponent in the numerator, we'll bring it down. We'll, we're going to uh, bring the X down here and then operate. So, it's X to the six minus four. Okay? 6 minus 4. 4 coming from the top. 6 at the bottom. And then because there are no y's, y to the 7 stays at the top where he is, right? And that's how we end up with this y to the 7th over x squared, right? Now, the next step, we got to raise everything to the third power. So then you're going to end up with y to the 7 times 3 and over x to the 2 times 3. 7 times 3? So that's y to the 21st power. And um, two times three? Six. Six. All right? And there's your solution. Everybody good? All right. So you multiply the exponents by the exponents. Yeah. When a power is raised to a power, you multiply exponents, right? If you have like variables inside the parentheses, you simplify those first before you do this. So that's all following the order of operations, right? Parentheses, exponents, math, uh, I was going to say math, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay? Alright? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Mr. Do the Math out. Whoa!